video on refinishing floors. So <clears throat> my flooring, as you can see, I already started. My flooring has a lot of scratches in it. So basically, as you can see here, there's a lot of kind of divots and scratches. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm resurfacing it. So I went to my local hardware store and I rented this nice big machine right here. And uh, you can get the one that's a belt sander, but this one's basically like an orbital sander. I got a lot of dust here. So ultimately, this guy here, um, <clears throat> you put a piece of foam on it, and then you attach your sandpaper thing. So this is the sandpaper. Um, there's an adhesive that comes off here. And this is 60 grit. And uh, so that's the lighter one, and this is a 32 grit, which is what I'm using to start out with. Um, you just peel this off and stick around to the pad. <clears throat> Excuse me. And basically, uh, what it's going to do is it's really just going to take off mainly the top layer, um, the finish, and not so much the stain itself. So I'm going to restain the floor, but for now it's mainly uh, you know just getting most of the you know the, the top finish off although it's going to take off the paint as well um, I'm sorry take off the stain as well I would say if you don't want to take the stain off and I'll see how that works I would go with the 36 I'm sorry I would go with the 60 grit rather than the 32 because I'm using the or what is it 36 grit um, the thinner one the lighter one is the 60 grit and maybe I would do that if I just want to take off the top part so what you do is you basically start this guy up and explain how it is. So if you basically push down on it, it's going to lean toward one direction. If you lift up on it, it's going to lean toward the other direction. So I'll just kind of demonstrate that really quick. And then basically you're just going to go in a back and forth motion um, in almost any direction. If you were using the belt sander, then you'd have to go in the direction of the, of the grain of the wood. But with the orbital sander, you can kind of go in any direction. So I'll just quickly show how that works. You can see there's a lot of dust here and I'm using my shop back to uh, dust up a lot here. Basically just press this little button in here, pull the handle. So. So it's because I don't have my, I can only put my hand on one side while I'm, uh, while I'm holding the camera. Um, basically, as you notice, when I went up, it was easily going to the right with just one hand. When you go down, when you have two hands on it, it'll just go to the left. So to allow the machine to just kind of go on its own and float, you just move it in an up and down motion. And that should do it. Let me see if I can try it uh, this way. It doesn't really want to go with one hand, but with two hands, you'll find that it's very easy to go back and forth. So I'm going to basically take off all this top coat here. Uh, and as you can see here, as you get closer, there's there's uh, just, you know, it's pitted. This is the old stuff. And then, uh, you know, where it's sanded here already, it's a much cleaner grain. So just for comparison, um, I'm going to go over here. That's where it was before. And you can see, like here, I have a lot of pits um, and a lot of, you know, where, where basically the top coat came off and it got scuffed. Um, and you can see right here, too, I have a lot of uh, kind of unsightly bleeding through. So I'm going to clean all that off and then stain it all up in, in one color in the two rooms here. And so what I'm going to do is, after I'm done kind of taking all this off, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Um, with with it clean to the paint. <laughs> 